what perhaps T20 did for cricket, I think bowling does for blue. And so clearly, we also then, of course, went out and saw the kind of spaces that these guys were building, uh, sort of tweaked it around for the Indian consumer, and launched our first unit in Gurgaon, which was uh, India's largest bowling center. We clearly realized that this, this concept that we were rolling out needed scale, whereas most players in India were not giving scale to this concept. We gave it scale, we gave a lot amount of glamour, uh, we got the DJ in place, we got the tattoo parlour, we got uh, Xbox gaming lounge, uh, we got platinum lounges, we, we roped in Pepsi for a Youngistan lounge, uh, we got Carlsberg to do their own lounge and um, uh, we sort of rolled this product and the way we defined this product was fashion bowl. We never said that it was bowling, we said it's, it's really about being trendy, youthful and this is about all about being fashionable and, and by God it really opened to uh, packed houses. When we started off uh, we were told about 70% will come from bowling and 30% will come from F&B but now the way and this is international formula. However, in India, it's completely changed. It's about 50% uh, from bowling, or, uh, another 30% from F&B, and about 20% is from marketing. We aim to be, because Vasant Kunj has just kind of opened, we got our liquor license in the month of December, so it's kind of now uh, gearing up well. Uh, but by the end of the year, we're looking at close to about, uh, uh, you know, next year, about 100 crores of uh, top line.